accessory navicular bone. What is an accessory navicular bone? It is an extra bone that may be attached or detached from the navicular bone. It is considered a normal variant present in up to 10% of people. This accessory bone is usually located under the plantar medial aspect of the navicular. It is often associated with a pest planus deformity. Ossification of the navicular bone occurs at three years of age in females and at five years of age in males. The accessory navicular bone, on the other hand, does not begin ossification before eight years of age. The majority of patients are asymptomatic. Females are usually more symptomatic. The patient may present with an activity-related limp and pain in the arch area. The condition may also be bilateral. On examination, there could be swelling, tenderness, warmth or redness in the plantar medial aspect of the arch. Relative to a normal foot as seen on the left, a plain x-ray AP view can detect the accessory navicular as seen on the right. An external oblique view is considered the best view to detect an accessory navicular bone. An MRI can also be obtained to determine the size and type of the accessory navicular, as well as assess the posterior tibial tendon. The accessory navicular is classified into three types. In a type 1, the accessory ossicle is mainly in the substance of the posterior tibial tendon and is not attached to the navicular. In a type 2, the accessory bone resides very close to the navicular tubercle and is connected to the navicular by a thick layer of cartilage. In a type 3, the accessory bone is considered an enlarged navicular tubercle. It is essentially a type 2 that is fused with the navicular by a bony bridge. Regarding prognosis, when skeletal maturity is reached, almost all patients become asymptomatic. Non-operative treatment usually consists of activity modification, orthotics, or a short leg walking cast. Surgical excision is indicated only after all conservative treatment options have failed. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.